placed around my flesh. So I have bleak right here. And it's coming from the seal of this um, CB Axel. So you have to remove your right wheel, remove your tie rod, remove your uh, axle nut, you have to remove the heat shield. It's holded by two bolts. You have to remove your knuckle from your strut. Then eventually remove your CV axle. Now there's three bolts holding it. One and two on top. And there's another one in the back. Another thing that you have you need is a safety glasses. Yes. Is falling debris. This is the seal I remove from here. It's from that. This one is new. Uh, maybe I just didn't put it right. That's why it's not sealing well. So this should. I don't know where it's leaking. It's leaking right here or it's leaking right here. Uh, but anyway. So as you can see the cover for the drive shaft seal is bent. As you look at the arrow. So we have to bend it back our original shape. So I got my CB axle shaft seal. Part number is 91206. P zero Z zero zero five, and this is for the passenger side CB axle. Okay, so let's compare. Anyway, this is the old. This is the new one. That's that's good.
putting my PCF. forget to put an anti-seize on your bolts clean up your bolt with uh, wire brush to remove the debris apply a anti-seize This is you have to wiggle, wiggle and push. So. using this for since I got this band that you have to remove the air intake boot and the uh, air filter and the cover Maintaining a car is like being proactive because if you see something bad, you don't want to wait until it's it's really bad before you 
before you do things, right? So, let me just double check. I think it's overfilled. For a while, for a thousand, one thousand two hundred kilometers, there is no visible leak right here. And there's no visible leak right about there. Overall, there's no leak. The leak is fixed. Oh, 